Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am doing a take two on this. Um, I'm kind of having a few of those today, but part of it is Sue, stupid, stupid user errors. <laughs> so um, I have, um, I think my tiredness has kind of caught up with me today, but that's okay. And I'm trying to do several things before we have to leave and, and run out the door today and help with family members and all kinds of good stuff. So um, I, maybe I'm just trying to get too much done one whack. So I took a little bit of a break. I'm back and I'm super excited to share with you the planning of my start planner. It is the one that I actually put pen and paper to first. Um, I may physically put the stickers on some, but this is my starting point. And I have absolutely loved this planner. And I've shared that before. Um, I don't have my information in it. I need to. But anyway, so um, it is the star, or startplanner.com. Startplanner.com. Um, the owners are super, super nice. I worked with one in particular, and she was just fantastic. So I cannot express to you how much I am so impressed by them. So um, I have my cute little clippies. I can't, where did I get these? Target. Got these at Target. So if you ask, I found those at Target. And um, super cute, super cute. So, um, yeah, so the way this works out, it's Saturday, Sunday, they're abbreviated schedules, but it gives you the um, hourly still or half hourly schedule, um, nine to, I guess, six on the weekend. So, and then eating out or what you're going to have for dinner, how much you spend, your waters, your meds, vitamins, your workout, whatever it is that you like to keep um, on that. I've got a weekly grocery list, and I haven't even gotten to that yet. Um, today is Sunday, so I'm a little bit late, but not a problem. We are gonna we're gonna bloom where we're planted. I'm super excited to be here. So I have shared some hauls by them, but today's um, planner stickers I'm going to use exclusively are the merma the Twin Mermaids dot com, the Twin Mermaids dot com, and the owner of this this is an Etsy shop. Her name is Carrie. She is amazing. She is so sweet and she is so helpful. So I absolutely adore her. And I, the twin mermaids are in um, honor of her two twin girls. So super, super, super cute. And again, the twin mermaids.com. So anything I find here, you guys can um, hopefully go find. Um, I have a lot I'm going to quote unquote use today, but this is the main sticker sheet. This is a half sheet sampler, July, August. Um, and on here it says, even the, thank you for choosing the Twin Mermaids for your planner stickers. She's so nice. So I love this. Um, and, and then I have some like, you know, daily type things. And then I thought I put in, nope, I did not put a set in here. I have some um, like mini sets that I bought from her. But I think now I remember what I was, was thinking when I pulled all these out. This is going to be my base, and then I'm going to pull the I, the you know individuals for the days out off of this. So, all right, so let's get started. Saturday, Sunday, I'm not going to use washi today, um, just not. I mean, I, some days you feel like it, some days, I mean, I love washi. Don't get me wrong, I love washi. So I'm going to put this here because this is our church time, and though because of the family emergency we didn't get to go, I, I have the, um, the message, I, they have an app. I'm able to listen to the message each week, and I love, I love, love, love um, the sermons that we get from our church. We go to a Messianic Jewish church in the city, and it's an hour and a half away, but it is worth every single time we go there. Um, I have absolutely adored our pastor, his wife, the staff. It's just been amazing. So, and ironically, we don't do laundry on the weekends, but we did do it this weekend because we're so behind. Um, and it was a road trip day. But today is also, and it is now 1.48. I don't see us getting out of here before 4 o'clock. Uh, my husband's out mowing pastures, and, you know, today is my planner day. I've been doing YouTube videos, so I'm going to set that there. Um, and it's the first day of plan, my Plan With Me videos. So, all right, um, I am going to put my AM, PM meds. Oh, they have that there, so I'm not going to use it in this planner. Excuse me. Silly me. All right, um, this week, let's see, so it's going to be laundry on Monday, and I'm going to be gone that day because I'll be helping our family member go home from rehab, and then I also have to go and pick up a specialized walker because he broke his hip and he broke his shoulder, and so that's a pretty hard, you know, way to have to do it, so, 
anyways, um, but yeah, and then on, oh, I'm going to leave that there, I will take care of that, so I, my husband is mowing, mowing the lawn, not quite, but mowing the pastures today, so I'm going to put that up here, he was mowing yesterday too, um, I am not even going to weigh in this week until we get through most of this. My my whole splashdown, slowdown day is going to be Wednesday, where I'm hoping I can work from home. Um, I will probably go get groceries on, um, hopefully, Tuesdays. I have a few things to do, so I'm probably going to push that to the afternoon, because then I can pick up my mail at the same time, and yeah. So I'm not going to use my meal plan stickers in here, and I'm not going to put my work in here because I'm not even thinking about work. I keep a work planner. So, um, but we will today be working for um, the family member. So I'm going to put that there so I remember how long we worked that day. And I will be working some on this day because I'm helping with um, business as well as um personal, you know, bills, things like that, and I have to go by the bank that day, and I have to be added on to the checking accounts and stuff like that, but I will not seem that I have one there, but that's okay. I'm going to finish this sticker sheet. I'll go to the next. We'll kind of go that way. Um, if you guys are okay with that, this is kind of a different way to plan for me, so that's okay. I kind of like that. Um, I am going to have to do some work for them, and I'm going to try to put that to the I'm going to put that earlier in the day so I can get that off my plate in the early afternoon. So I'll put that there, and then I will have to do a little bit on this day as well. So I will do the ex... Oh, no. You know what? I'm taking Wednesday off. Not going to do it. Not going to do it, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. So I'm going to put that there on Thursday. So perfect. And then Friday, I'm going to be working on my own work, Lord willing. And let's see. I think we have a payday coming up. Oh, no. Mm, wait. Let me see. How many days are there in July? More than likely, we will be paid on this day. So, praise the Lord, which will mean I will need to work on budgeting that day. But I will find a sticker for that. And we don't have critters for heart tick and, you know, heartworm and tick medication. Um, farmer's markets, that is always Saturday. But... You know what, I'm going to save that for next, so actually I'll just put it on this Saturday. Um, that we have in our town, off the town square, and we got a church, I'm going to try, actually you know what, they do a farmer's market at our local grocery store. Um, they do it outside, which I just can't imagine the competition, but they do it, so I appreciate that. And on Thursday... I need to clue into my kids. They have been very patient, and I need to give them some time. So, though most of my kids are grown, it's not mommy and me. Um, some of them still call me mommy. But, um, anyways, clean the house. That has to get started on Tuesday. I just can't stand it another day. It's just driving me crazy. So, um, I definitely need to get the laundry put away and. Oh gosh, we have so much laundry. It is crazy. So when I put that there, that's going to be an overall, get an assessment, make lists, see what has to be done, and then reassign them through the week. Um, yeah, okay, so that's it. That's all I'm going to do on this. I'm not going to do the meal plan. I'll save that for another time because I have a meal plan. Well, you know what? They will fit nicely. Yeah, I'll do that. That's cute. I will do that. It will fit in there just right. It's like she knew it was for the start planner. Okay, so I will do that on Monday, and I will do it on Tuesday. Or actually, I'm going to do it Wednesday, because that way, that's going to be the day I can actually think about it. I think Monday's just going to be a big old pot of beans. So, alright, so coffee. I love this, but first coffee. So these are super cute, and... I literally got so busy with all of these emergencies that I would forget to have like like breakfast and coffee and and I would think, oh, I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? Well, you know, you got to have nutrition, right? <laughs> so, 
And on those days, we are, my sweet husband is taking me to Starbucks when we have, when we're out, when we're not in our town. I'm going to put this down here. And I don't have my coffee on Monday until about 8 o'clock. And I am going to move that little, little car. He's kind of crooked. All right. Super cute. And I actually, I think I'm going to, if I can pull this up. Nope. Can't. This paper doesn't release as well as, say, the Plum Paper Planner, because I like to alternate the colors, um, if you wonder why I'm wondering, or if I could pull it up. But um, it reminds me, so if I use this planner, I'm going to have to really want it. <laughs> I'm going to have to want it at that time. So, and actually on Tuesday, I purposely will start my day a little later. Everybody will be in their homes, and hopefully by Tuesday morning, we will be good to go. And then, because at that point, Lord willing, Tuesday morning, there will be caregivers for that um, family member who's been in rehab. We have family members to help Monday evening by the time he gets home. So I am very thankful. And hopefully my husband wants us to stay Monday night. But I don't mean to sound selfish or anything, but I kind of want to come home. Um, so, but we'll see. If we need to stay, we'll stay. But if not, we'll come home. And um, I'm going to push this day back Thursday. I am purposely not going to start my days um, from Wednesday through the weekend until like 9 o'clock or 8.45, somewhere in there. Um, if I can sleep in, I'm going to let my old weary bones sleep in. So, um, and then one last one here on Friday. And then we are done. So, there's my coffee for the week. And I know some people put those on there for their... Um, like if they go to Starbucks, and that's great. I think it's wonderful. But for me, um, right now, it's just to remember to not forget to get a cup of coffee. The first thing I'm going to do this day is pull my sheets off and get those washed. I love this. I love this. So Thursday is going to be sheet day this week. And then I will be working on videos, hopefully, on Thursday, which means I will be editing and posting. So, and I, um, I post out on YouTube. I know you guys probably already know that, but um, it really works well for me. And especially when we're traveling, and praise God I had done it when we had a family emergency because literally I would have never had videos for the week we were in the hospital. So I'm going to put this one up here because I will spend more time on Friday morning. And um, yeah, a sweet friend asked me to join a planner group that does videos here on YouTube. And I've been praying it over because I don't, I try not to rush anything. And I'm super, you know, blessed that she asked me. I'm a really tiny channel. They are all big channels. <laughs> and so, um, but I've really enjoyed that. And um, that, that prayer and the process of that. So, I will be doing craft videos on Friday. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. It's going to be craft videos. And it's going to be... Uh, well, this is probably going to be planner video, so I should probably put my planner video, and that I want to get ahead, because in this group you have to plan, you have to post by Sunday, and sometimes I get that done, and sometimes I don't, as you guys well know. So, anyways, but this is going to be crap videos, yay! I want to get messy and gooey and ooey and mixed media, and I don't always share my mixed media, but anyways, it's time to get in the zone. So, all right, I know that's silly. Um, I am going to make sure on Monday that the first thing I do is set up all my diffusers for the week. Um, I really love, I can't pull that back up. I should have thought that through, but that's okay. I really love the use of essential oils and diffusers. They are great and they're good for you. And <clears throat> since some of you may or may not know, I have been waking up with like no voice and so that, or bad voice. <laughs> and so... I know that by running diffusers with essential oils, that will be just a healthy thing I can do. And I'm so thankful to the Lord for keeping me healthy and um, all of that. So, all right. So right now, let's see. I will work on my... I'm trying to see if my husband's coming in. Nope, he's not. He's still mowing. All right. When he comes in, we got to hit the road. So um, I'm working on, let's see, on Tuesday, Lord willing, I will have time. And I will run and go get our mail. And that I will do in the afternoon. And then um, I like to go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But knowing how much I have this week, I will go um, Monday and Friday, or Tuesday and Friday, 
just because I know how much I have going on this week um, with getting everybody situated. And um, anyways, we, we have a P.O. box. We live in the, you know, come out in the country, so. All right, so then on Mondays is refill our spray bottle days. And when we have all those essential oils out, I'll get that done, or my youngest will get that done. Um, we make our own cleaners, and we make our own cleaning wipes. And so we do that with baby wipes, unscented, or shea ones. And then we use um, our own cleaning solution, which I've shared before, is half vinegar, half half white distilled vinegar, half, that I buy at Sam's Bulk, half water, and then essential oils. What I clean with is different than what I use, like, ingest or put on my skin for essential oils. So I buy bulk on... Um, they have to be essential oils. They cannot be fragrance oils. And I buy this on Amazon. And I buy them by large bottles. And I used to buy, um, I used to make soaps. I used to buy from a soap maker that I could get a really good deal on them. And that they've gone up. So now I found that Amazon has the best deals. So that's that. I would love, I, um, I think we have really hard water. So I'm going to try this evening. You know what? I'm going to be realistic. I will get that done Monday morning. That will be great. I'll clean my bathroom, all of that. I like to keep our shower. My husband helps me with the shower because of the chemicals I can't use. And then um, I try to keep our, you know, sink and toilet and counter. We have a little, we don't have a counter. We have a pedestal sink, but we have a little cabinet next to it that I put in there. And that it kind of gives us counter space. And um, I don't get any of that. My sweet husband gets it all, so that's okay. And, um, yeah. And then I will, I don't want to clean on my first day of resting and talking to you guys by answering comments. So I will make sure that I do another deep clean here. And I don't know about you, but living in the country, all the critter stuff and my husband and all that, um, I have to clean my bathroom. I clean every day. I wipe the counters every day. I wipe down potty seats and countertops every day, but to deep clean, um, I do it two or three times a week because it needs it. And I mean, I spray after every shower, so I'm not going to go into next weekend because we're already doing that. I spray our shower down with that vinegar solution. It cuts a lot of that uh, mineral buildup because we have an avocado tub. Yes, it came with the house. The bathroom is avocado, green, and pink, and it's gorgeous. I love it. At first we moved in, we were like, oh my gosh, and then we realized no, we really like it. So, um, I've got down here, clean the house, and start figuring out. I think on, let me look. <sighs> Probably, I have to be realistic of all that I want to get done here. But I think on Thursday, I may try to get us dusted that day. Um, living where we live, um, especially when they start harvesting in the field next door, um, we have lots of things. Like, we have to dust and always when I dust I vacuum because I work my way down. I start high, I go low. So, um, and usually when we had all of our kids at home, I would give one one job, one the next job, one the other. So it's just me and my youngest. So, but we, um, we're a good team. Okay. And she's phenomenal. She helps me with everything. So I'm probably going to vacuum on Thursday. I like to vacuum twice a week, but I'm going to be realistic right now. I can own, you know what, I will vacuum this day, I know for sure, because this one's the one I want to work in my bedroom, and we only have carpet in a couple of rooms, my, my craft studio and then my bedroom, and craft studio right now is barricaded, you can't get in, so, <laughs> anyways, being honest, gotta get in there, gotta get a lot of extra furniture and wedding paraphernalia out of there. So, I am going to go back, though. We did this yesterday, a.m., p.m. I know we did it. My youngest, these are when we let the chickens out and we let them in. She designed these for egg collection, which actually for us, the big deal is um, because of predators, we have to make sure we get them out and get them in. And actually, on the day-to-day, -day, I'm going to put that on my to-dos. There's an area in this planner on the weekdays where you can list your to-dos. So, I'm going to put that right there, top of the heap, because it is a big deal. And with its extreme heat, we have to make sure that we let them out, too. Though they have a pond, they have, I mean, they have everything in their coop area. It's a really huge chicken um, yard with all kinds of automatic waterers and, you know, 
we moved in, I researched everything. And we found because of the heat of Texas, there were some things we were willing to do, automatic waters, automatic feeders, um, for the various like rabbit how we had a rabbit barn and all kinds of things. But um, chickens we free range and we supplement with scraps and we try to keep them as orga organic, organic, <laughs> there's a new word, organic as humanly possible. So, all right, so that takes care of the chickens. And I know that on Monday, I am going to put this down here. This is a day of love to help this sweet family member. I am going to hit, you know, that's a cut. Whoops. Uh oh, I put it on top of my other sticker. I didn't even see it, silly me. Okay, you know I'm tired. Um, I'm going to hit Starbucks. I am going to go there. I'm going to use these as my Starbucks ones. And more than likely, I will be back on the road on Tuesday. So I will do the same. I guess I don't need to use the home one, right? <laughs> So I will put that there. I don't know if I'm going to have to go back on Tuesday, depending on how the transition goes. I do know Monday night we are going to do like beans. We do a lot of beans, like because if you don't know, we're vegetarian. At least my husband and I are. My poor youngest or any kid that lives in the house at the time, they eat a lot of vegetarian meals. So, um, but we'll probably do um, a big pot of beans um, through in the crock pot, and then probably Tuesday night is. I've been kind of like trying to get to taco night that night, so I think I'm going to leave it there. And usually we go out to eat on one of these nights, Thursday, Friday, or, or and then Saturday night. But I think I'm going to make Saturday night our pizza night. Um, the reason we've been going out on Saturday nights is because of um, family needs. So I'm going to put that there. That, that is for next week. I am going to put that there. So I'll remember I'm starting that on Saturday night. Okay, so Tuesday is our trash day, but Tuesday night is when we put it out. So I'm going to put this here to put it out at night so we remember, and then we put it up. Um, I mean, we put it out Tuesday night, and then we put it, I mean, Monday night, oh, sorry guys, and then we put it up um, Tuesday and it happens at some point. It depends on who's going out to the gate, has the time, rolls it back in, rolls it back up in. So, um, but yeah. Okay, so now back to the wash. I listed it here. I think we should do a load today. So I will put that there and ask my peanut to do it, my littlest one, while we're gone. She washes and I do fold and put away. She washes, puts stuff in the dryer. I do hang-ups and I do anything that has to hang to dry. And then I do um, put away. So, and then I think, I, I know we just have so much laundry. It, it just, it's embarrassing to put this down. But Tuesday and then Wednesday, though it's my day off, it will be nice to get that caught up. And then I'm going to take a break Thursday because I'll be doing all that cleaning. And then probably Friday. And then my goal in life is to never have to do laundry over the weekend. I know that sounds crazy, but when my husband's home, um, I don't. I like to do laundry. My daughter likes to do laundry. If we're up and we've got it done, then my, if not, my husband will get in there. And bless his heart, um, when he did laundry when we were first married, um, I had a cashmere vest sweater that was given to me. I worked in a very expensive dress shop while we were in college. I didn't have any money. We were so poor, my husband and I. And um, so my friends, that one was a manager, one, one was just a friend who worked there like me. And they went in together and bought me this gorgeous cashmere royal purple, and like a like royal blue purple sweater vest. It was gorgeous. And like a not even quite a year later and I was so careful I would only wear it certain times because I knew that we couldn't afford the dry cleaning on and on and on so when I finally began teaching my sweet husband took over while he was finishing up undergrad um, and he managed the apartments that we lived in um, I was teaching for the school district he would wash and dry laundry well God love him not only did he dry the sweater, he dried it in a commercial dryer, because at that time we couldn't, you know, we had to store our washer and dryer. It was the size for a toddler, as you know this is going there. So, anyways, 
try to keep him out of the wash <laughs> for a very real reason. And he does things differently than I like done. And I know that's bossy and mean. But it is real. It is a real struggle. So, alright. I'm hoping Friday morning to come start tidying this office. Um, don't, I do not, do not in any way think I'm going to be effective. I'm going to try to do X amount. And I'm going to set goals for that. And I'm going to be happy within those goals. And I will list them over here on the to-dos. So, okay, guys, um, I put this out here to clean house, but I already used that, and I've already used my individual icons, and um, that's it. Um, I really don't use a lot in here because I like to write. Um, I love to capture my thoughts or, or put my scripture for the week here. I also put that in my, um, my faith planner, and I have missed my faith planner. I, obviously, I see that that is like, fuel to my week, so I will be planning that soon. I didn't get to do that the last two weeks with all the, um, you know, you have to prioritize when you have an emergency, so you, you recognize what you can grab and what you can't grab, and so I need this planner, and I need my other planner, my faith planner. Those are the two things, if the house were burning, these I would grab with important papers and um, uh, pictures. So, anyways, and as somebody, who, my those of you who don't know, my house burnt down when I was four. They rebuilt it. We had just moved into it. They rebuilt it. I remember the day it burnt down. Um, we lived in apartments, so they got it rebuilt um, right by our home. And then a year later, a hurricane came through and wiped it out. And we lived in the same apartments. And we have friends still from that period of my life, from, you know, living in those apartments. Um, so God has a plan and everything. And then they rebuilt it again. So... Um, I always have that in the back of my mind in an emergency. What would I grab? And so, and, and I used to live, we used to live um, closer to the coast where you had hurricane scare. So you did have to grab things and evacuate. So anyways, um, oh, and critters, got to take my babies, got to take my birdies. So, and of course my real babies, but anyways, that's a long list, but you don't need to know that. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Um, I, this really has to be a white space planner for me. I am going to get my friction pen in here. I've been using a pencil. Friction pens work great. I have multiple sets, and I need to just break them out. And um, I have, um, they're probably deep in the inside of my craft room. So I may get to them, I may not. But that is what I eventually will use in here because I like to write, erase, move, you know, move to the next day. And yes, I can use all those little hand uh, hand drawn signals, but um, I really like friction. And also, what I like about friction is I like the color, and um, I really have enjoyed those over the years. They have been a real plus. I even now use the friction highlighters, and yeah, I mean they're an excellent resource in planning. So I hope you guys, um, if you haven't seen that, I will be glad. I've done somewhat of a pin review, but if you haven't tried Frictions, I will encourage you, go give them a try. They are totally worth the money, and you will never be unhappy that you have those. So, all right, guys, so this was my start planner. Let me pull this back up. My the TheTwinMermaids.com Etsy stickers, and um, that's this week. So, thanks, guys, for stopping by. I hope your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Um, I thank you so much for your support. If you're not subscribed to this channel, we are a small channel, but we are mighty. Um, the people here are amazing. All the people subscribed are so encouraging and so kind and have such great ideas. I love when people throw their ideas out. Um, you not only email me personally or message me privately, you guys also, um, in my email is listed below, you also leave comments and you encourage each other. So thank you so much for all your in information and your encouragements. It's been just amazing. It makes this channel what it is. You guys are what makes this channel. Um, I just... Um, I just turn on the camera. You guys do the rest. So anyways, um, thank you guys for everything. And thank you for your well wishes during this last couple of weeks. You guys have been incredibly patient. I am getting to comments on Wednesday. I've said this in several videos. Wednesday morning is going to be my day. I'm going to stay in my jammies all day. Gonna, <laughs> I'm not even going to work that day. I hope, Lord willing, I don't have to drive anywhere because... I could be really dogmatic and say I'd stay in my jammies if I had to drive somewhere, but I won't do that. That'd be scary. But anyway, so, um, but I really want that to be a slow down, rest day, let my immune system have a break. Um, and the first thing on my list is to answer all your comments and, uh, in emails, if I've missed any emails, 
Um, I know of one right now I need to answer, I'm pretty sure. But um, you guys are super